All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. And today we are finally pulling for a venture, and we're in a place which should be very memorable to some of you. But uh, yeah, today we will be summoning for a venture, and it's been a long time. And honestly, I am just excited. We do have 105 wishes right now. Um, when it comes to our pity, I believe we're only at like free pity. Yeah, free pity after we wish for the vulture. But uh, yeah. We are, obviously we are on a 50-50, and we do only have 100, this will take us to about 110, so it's not enough for the 160 to, to guarantee ourselves a character, so basically, we need to win ourselves a 50-50 here, so uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it, first temple, will we get a fire, okay, we don't get a fire on our first temple, and there's no new forces on the manor, but there are a few good gacha light cones we could get for our aventurine, uh, we still don't have a resolution for our Pela. Um, a good night's sleep well would also be nice for our Kafka slash Black Swan. Uh, Luca was cool when he came out, but I literally have never used him, even though I have him E something, I don't know what it is. But I mean, you know, Gwenaifen exists, Black Swan exists, Kafka exists, Sampo exists. I just don't really think there's a reason to use Luca. I mean, I think Akron might actually be one of the best characters for DOT teams nowadays, even though she doesn't contribute to the DOT herself. But, uh... Yeah, that's our first temple. Moving on to our second one, will we see an early 5-star here? No, we don't. Okay, here's the thing. If we get an early 5-star in our next temple, then we can basically guarantee ourselves an Aventurine. If we don't, then we've got to get lucky by ever getting an early after losing our 50-50, or by just winning the 50-50. Dude, I keep getting this light cone. I think I could have an S4 by now, although I'm too lazy to level it up. I I maybe should for our Jing Liu in case I'm using on the full of an Eon on someone else, but... That Lycon keeps coming up, I literally can't get away from it, but uh... Yeah, when it comes to... What else we'd want to pull... Not this Lycon, I've had way too many of these. I mean, I've already kind of said, now, like I said, we... If we want to guarantee ourselves an Aventurine, we need to get, get him right... Mm, not now, okay. Dude, you know, I actually haven't gone early in so long. The last, okay, technically the last early I got was Black Swan, but that was, like, at 70, which is, like, four pulls before Soft Pity, so, like, is that really an early? Can we really kid ourselves here? So, like, you know, and other than that, I don't think I've gone early on the limited banner since Zila, literally Zila's first banner, and, okay, we do get a new Light Cone, although it is Misha's one, which isn't... Very good, I think. And we did get Saval earlier, but she's already E6. We do have a lot of Star Glitter, though, on the bright side. So, um, you know, if things get really desperate by the end of the version, I guess we could dip into our Star Glitter. But, uh, yeah, okay, we don't, once again, no early first, so we are at 43 summons right now. Uh, Soft Pity, like, in about four pulls-ish, we should get our five star. But it's not looking pretty right now, is all I am going to say. So, I mean, maybe we get a good four-star pull here. Uh, we get a Lynx now. You know, early game, that would have been cool. Okay, I have actually pulled an off-rate. Like, I got Dunhung today on limited banner. He's not on-rate. I got him on standard banner yesterday, and then obviously I got him twice when he was on-rate. So, like, all of a sudden he's E4 after being E0 for basically nearly a year. Uh, and then I think this is pull 53 now, and still no early 5-star, so, um, it's not looking terrible for us. I mean, on the bright side, every time we pity, we've basically won our 50-50. Actually, never mind, I think I'm, like, 4 for 7 when it comes to 50-50s, or something like that. I think I'm ever so slightly on the positive side. I know I lost it for Blade, that was incredibly painful. Um... Uh, honestly, there's too many characters for me to rem remember. You know, I'll go through all of this in a special one-year anniversary video since basically the one-year anniversary of this game is the one-year anniversary of this channel since two years after the game came out is when I posted my first channel. That was me rerolling for Bronya, and then my second video was me getting my early Zealous. So, you know, I will be doing a video going reviewing the entirety of my account on the 26th of April about... So, yeah, be sure to subscribe if you're looking forward to that. But in the meantime, we are struggling here to get ourselves an Aventurine. Uh, one year ago, we got incredibly lucky with Zila, and unfortunately, one year later, our luck has basically run out. Although, I do think this is supposed to be the 5-star. So, either 
we want to win our 50-50. Well, we want to win our 50-50 either way. We want to win our 50-50 or we want to get a double. I have never got a double in Honkai. I've actually never got a double on any of my accounts in Genshin or Honkai. Only when I've pulled on someone else's Genshin account. That's the only time I've ever got a double. Uh, ooh, ooh, okay, I lied. We are going into hard, hard pity right now. So, um, yeah, that's not exactly what you like to see. I mean, you know, give us a preservation light cone or character, and it's going to be a good sign. You guys should subscribe for more. Boom, I did, I did what every YouTuber does. Wow, I'm so funny, amazing. Yeah, Oof. wait, we had a hundred five, okay, so 73, so, okay, we're definitely gonna get him now, basically, okay, cool, we get him, now, we need to see the preservation symbol, if I get an E2 Japan, I, I'm just not gonna be happy, that's all I'm gonna say, so, can we make it four 50-50 wins in a row, that's what we're looking at right now, we want Black Swan, we want, uh, we want Black Swan, we want Akron, we want Luocha, can we win Aventurine? I also need to comp- Oh, yes, yes, yes! Okay, we win our 50-50! I've won four in a row, let's go! Oh, he's so fine, and I can't wait to play him. I literally had him pre-farmed. I have his light cone ready for him. He's just ready to slot into my Acheron team. And here he is. He's come home. Okay, see, we had a 50-50. Originally, what I was going to do is I wasn't going to pull for the world just so I could guarantee myself an Aventurine. What I decided was, I'm going to gamble. I'm going to pull the voucher, and if we win our 50-50, then we have to gamble a 50-50 on Aventurine. But clearly, Aventurine likes gambling, and he came home to his fellow gambler, because what are gotcha players? Obviously, we're all gamblers deep down inside. So, there we go. We got our Aventurine. It was all worth it in the end. Okay, I'm so glad. Oh, this video would have gone so differently if we didn't get our Aventurine. And, I mean, yeah, now we're just going to save up our pulls. I think I'm going to wait for probably a Sunday banner next. Um, I know Bootle's coming out soon. As much as I love Bootle's... You know what, I actually might p pull Bootle on my second account, so there will probably be a video of me pulling Bootle. Although, I don't think I will be wishing for Robin. And, yeah, we're just going to hope Sunday comes out soon, because I would also like to get a Sunday, but... Let's get our Venturine in our team. And, wait, that's, well, wrong character. And, okay, most importantly, we can comp- uh, Not that. We can complete the imaginary men collection. There we go. We have all of the hot, tall, imaginary men in our Starfaring Companions. So, if you had any- Ignore the fact that we're still 50. And what we're going to do now is we're going to level up our Aventurine to um, level 80. I'm just going to, you know, max him out here since I'm not going to be doing a video building Aventurine. I'm just going to do that right here, right now. And, I mean, whilst I have your guys' attention, then, you know, let me know whether you guys summoned for Aventurine. Let me know if you won your 50-50 like I did. Or if you got a bit unlucky, maybe if you got any Eidolons on him. I know his Eidolon 1's pretty decent. Actually, I think most of his Eidolons are actually... Quite good, compared to a character like Luocha, you know, also I have noticed a lot of people saying that, you know, uh, preservation characters are basically better than Abundance characters, and honestly, I think I, when I, in certain situations, I'm inclined to agree. I feel like, especially when you're playing characters with low HP, like uh, Ping Yun, having a preservation character is actually really nice. Otherwise, to get, like, damage reduction, you're forced to, like, play a character like, I don't know, um... Baidu, there you go, that's the name. I, as soon as I got the world, I kind of forgot Baidu existed, unfortunately. Now, we do have our free summons, which we got for free, haha, <laughs> from our Aventurine. I'm not expecting anything special here, although maybe we will get blessed. It doesn't seem like we will. Uh, maybe we can get a Japard Lightcon for our Aventurine, that would be cool. Okay, we don't. But, uh, I mean, technically, we could buy the Japard Lightcon. I could even buy two, since I am a 1.3k. But I'd rather just have this saved up as 70 pulls. You know, we basically have enough pulls to get ourselves a 5 so of all that. So, um, anyway, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give him Train of the Universal Market because I'm mostly planning on playing him with Acheron. Um, we can fully up the, fully level up the traces. I had him pre-farmed. I was so ready for Aventurine. And honestly, I, I still can't believe that we won another 50-50, you know? 
Um, we've actually managed to win four 50-50s in a row. The only ones we've lost are like Blade and some others, which I'm forgetting about, although I think I've chosen to forget about them. Oh, I lost Fu Xuan, and then I guaranteed Jing Liu, and then I lost Hua Hua. I think that's what it was, I think. Those, I think, are the three 50-50s I lost. Which, you know, I mean, to lose three 50-50s in, or, you know, playing this game for a year, that's pretty decent. I've already lost more 50-50s than that in Genshin, in just version 4 alone, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, rip me, but... You know, the main focus of this video is Aventurine, and Aventurine's lucky, and he has blessed us with some of his luck. So, you know, I could not be any happier. I'm not sure what we're supposed to be prioritizing leveling up, although I'm pretty sure I have enough to max him out anyway. I mean, I'm going to go for the defensive stuff first with the skill and the talent. Level up the ult next for, you know, just a little bit of extra damage and whatnot. And then I think we can level up this skill to, like, Level 5, you know, a little bit of extra damage. Uh, okay. Can I craft more of these? I... Okay. Uh, math, not my strong suit, but if... Ooh, I actually think we have the perfect amount to get him to... There we go. 1, 10, 10, and 10. So we got most of his important traces maxed out. And I'll show you guys the little fun build I have for him. So I have all my stuff pre-saved on... Uh, the Trailblazer right now. Um, actually, I might need to swap out one main stat just so that we can get a little bit of speed. But uh, we will check that shortly. I have a very specific build. This is basically just for my Acheron that I have this built. Because the main reason why I wanted to get a, a Ventrine was obviously it's a good defensive unit. And then I can ch swap his build from... Like a DPS, I'll, I'll be building him as a DPS in Pure Fiction, and then I have a separate build for him as a general defense unit and as a defense unit for Akron. So, looking at our stats, we have 3,800 defense basically. Now, you do want around 4k, but you know, this is good enough for the most part. This will give us like quite a bit of crit. We don't have any crit damage, unfortunately. Uh, if we want to do more damage, that would be important, and we will need one more speed substat. But the main thing about this build is we have 64 crit rate. <laughs> and basically all that is just so that we can apply the burn from the uh, Trend of the Universal Market Light Cone. Does the base chance go up if you superimpose? Oh, it actually does. So the superimpositions would be nice. It would have been nice if we had got this Light Cone a bit more, but we didn't. Uh, we do need one more speed substat right now just to you know, make sure we have 144 speed and can go a bit more often since I do prefer having speed just for the sake of, you know, being able to go more often, it's always a nice thing to have. But, uh, yeah, that's basically it for today's video. Our Aventurine is fully built, just slowly here going through all of his main uh, substats, as you can see. Uh, I will, if I can get more crit damage rolls, I probably will. He's basically on a 50-50 crit, crit damage split, which is a bit weird. But, you know, he has the speed he needs, and he has the defense, which he, uh, ooh, this actually put him down to, like, 3.7k. Uh, I mean, good enough, basically, the defense is decent enough. I just rubber craft the speed substat so we can get more energy on him, refresh his turns a bit more, emergency shields if we need. But, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Hopefully I'll see you guys next time. I'll probably be tweaking my adventure and build a little bit. Uh, so be sure to see that in the next Memory of Chaos or Pure Fiction video I do. Or maybe that's going to be the one you're a can review, but yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and hopefully I will see you guys next time. See ya!